Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Orange is the New Black, Season 4. It just landed on Netflix. I'm not going to go into full spoilers here, though. Uh, if you want to, my written review on IGN.com has a link within it to a spoiler discussion page where I go over the ending, uh, the episode before the ending, the penultimate Season 4 episode, and then some other uh, specific story elements from the season. Uh, but here I'm going to keep it spoiler-free and give you more of an overview of Season 4. It's a great show. It's always been a great show. You know that if you've watched it. Uh, this season, though, seemed to be a little heavier than usual. Not that past seasons were lacking in drama or sadness or tragedy, but this one seemed to really lean into it uh, with some really gut-punching moments. Uh, things build so seemingly out of nowhere. Sometimes from very small kernels of, of comedy, things build into tragedy. Um, big tragedy in big unexpected ways. And um, that really played out this season. And I don't know if it had anything to do with the fact that last year... Um, the Emmys ruled the show ineligible to compete as a comedy at the Emmys uh, because it's an hour long. I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but this season felt really heavy in a way. There was a lot of stuff going on here from racial tension to privatized prisons um, to just brutal guards to rape to um, uh, just class system commentary. Uh, it's all over the place, but it also really works well because Orange is the New Black interweaves the story is great and the ensemble is always superb. Most of the comedy this season comes from Blair Brown's Judy King character who's sort of a Martha Stewart type surrogate um, and there are other people who have comedic moments as well but other than that there's a lot of um, hardness and harsh, harshness uh, on the show and in the flashbacks and uh, we start off right as season three ended with the sort of the prisoner exodus to the, and the lake party uh, and then Piper's story sort of starts out comedic. It was a little weird and awkward, and she's trying to puff out her chest a little bit, be an alpha female, try to act intimidating based on what she did to Stella in season three. She's a little high on her own fumes and income 100 new inmates because Litchfield is privately owned, and they're trying to cram as many prisoners in there for profit. And um, things do not go well. It, it builds and builds and builds. Likewise, another thing that builds is uh, we left Alex Voss in the shed and it looked like a hitman was coming down on her. I'm not going to spoil what happens there, but that also, that whole scenario leads to big things further down the line. In fact, a lot of stories that start in the premiere wind up converging at the end in really sort of horrible, tragic ways. Um, as this show, you know, works in commentary uh, in, a good, in a good way. Uh, Orange is the New Black it never sort of hits you over the head with things because Everybody's living their life so crammed together. They're going to get in each other's way. There's going to be problems. Things are going to get brought up. So all the relevant uh, social commentary of the now that sort of happens on the show feels very natural because of the situation and the location and how the show plays out and all the different types of characters with different backgrounds living together. So other shows that might feel sort of on the nose and corny, here it feels very sort of naturally textured within the show itself. But again, this is a very harsh season. Um, and, it, and, you know, it leads and leads and leads, like all the seasons do. Um, but it feels like it leads towards something pushing it into next season a little more. Like things are even going to escalate even further in season five. Uh, whereas, say, in season two, things just ended with Big V getting killed and that kind of closed the bottle on that. And, you know, it was kind of like a, uh, a clean slate. Um, anyway, it was a superb season. You could read my review on IGN.com. And uh, look for all things Orange is the New Black on IGN. Thanks. 